Hello my dear friends and my dear students. Yes, today we will discuss about the fractions and its types. Yes, different types we will discuss today in this video. Let's start. Here I have made a rectangle that is a equal to 1 rectangle. Means this rectangle is a whole part. Okay, means it is a complete figure or you can say that it is like a whole, right? Now I have, uh, the, I have did the parts of this whole. I have five, I have did five parts of it. You can see first, second, third, fourth and five. So these are the parts and then the Part of a whole. I have did here the part of a whole and this parts are known as fraction. How? Let's see. See, I have shaded here the first part. Means I have shaded out of the five part, the one part is the shaded. So, how we can write this part as a fraction? One is the shaded part that means I have taken one out of it. And how many total I have? Total I have parts here the five. So in the downside I have written the total parts and one that I have taken out means that I have shaded that is I have written upside. So this number that is one by five is known as a fraction that is a part of a whole like this is a whole part and we have taken one part out of the five. So this number that is the upon form you can say also one by five is known as fraction. Okay the upside of the part and the downside of the part there are two different parts. The upside is known as of the fraction is numerator is the numerator okay and the downside and the downside that is known as denominator so keep it in mind these students upside is known as numerator and the downside is known as denominator and this is the separator line in between so we write any fraction in this form Okay, if I colored, if I shaded the three portions, suppose I have shaded the three portion. So, this is fraction. How can I write? Now, can you tell me? First, I have counted all the parts. All the parts are five. So, downside means the denominator will be five and the portion are here shaded now the three. So, three upon five will be its fraction. So, in this way you can find out the fraction, the value of the fraction. Here you can see the numerator, the upside is the numerator in both the fraction 1 by 5 and 3 by 5. The numerator is less than the denominator. 1 is less than 5 also and 3 is less than 5 also. So, in this when we have numerator is less than denominator that fraction is known as proper fraction. Yes students this is the first type that is the proper fraction and you can say this is type number 1 in which the numerator is less than the denominator. Okay, let's discuss the now next one. If you have a fraction like this, suppose I have here 5 upon 4. I have fraction here 5 upon 4. Here you can see the numerator, the upside number is greater than denominator. Numerator is greater than denominator. So, what is that type? 
Yes, students, that is type number 2. That type you can say the type 2. And that type is known as improper. Yes, that type is known as improper fraction. The type 2 in which numerator is greater than denominator. Okay, suppose you have one pizza. I am giving you example of this. Suppose you have one pizza and four slices are there, one pizza. And you want one more, one more slice. Means the one more slice you want. So how many slices you will have? One, two, three, four and five. So five slices. And I have put here the fifth slice also on the upside. Okay. So I have how many slices total I have? Five. But the base is there that is four. Here the numerator is greater than the denominator. So that fraction is known as improper. But here I have total 5 and out of 5 I have taken only 3. So numerator is less than denominator. Then that part is known as proper fraction. I think proper and improper students it's clear to you. These are the two types. Okay. That I have shared first type proper and then the type 2 that is improper. Okay, let's discuss now the next one that is type 3. Type 3. In this, have you seen the types that is the some fractions are like this. 2 by 9, 5 by 9, 6 by 9, 8 by 9. Here the one thing is similar in these fractions. Their denominator are equal. Yes, where denominator are same. All the denominators are same. Means equal value. All denominators are same in these fractions. Then that type is known as like fractions. Yes, students. That is known as like fractions because in this all the denominators are same. So that is the third type like fractions. Okay, now let's do the next one. Have you seen the fractions like this? 1 by 3, 3 by 4, 7 by 9 etc. So, these are the fraction. Nothing is common. No numerator, not denominator. Okay, these are the proper fraction I have taken because numerator is less. But these types of the fractions that I considered in the type 4 where denominators are different. Denominators are different means their value are not same. So that type I will consider that unlike fractions. Yes students that type will be known as unlike fractions. So here we got the fourth type that is unlike fractions. I think these four types are very much clear. Now let's do with the type fifth that is unit fraction yes students that type i am taken that unit fractions so unit is the name very common in the unit fraction how the fraction are coming means their numerator their numerator which is equal to 1. Like these 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7, 1 by 9. Here in these fractions, the numerator is equal to 1. 
So, these fractions are known as unit fractions. Okay, now the last type is there that is the type 6. Type 6 I will consider now as a last one and that is the mixed fraction. Yes, students, that is known as mixed fractions. And what is that mixed fraction? This is type number 6. The mixed fraction means we have here the whole part also and the fraction also. Like here I have 3, 1 by 4, 5, 2 by 7. And you can say 9, 1 by 10. So, here you can see the 3 number is the whole number. That is the counting number that we use in our uh, mathematics term. That is. And the 1 by 4 is a fraction. And they are coming with us the combined one. So, when they are coming with the combined means the combination of whole and the proper fraction or improper, you can take any one. So, both whole and fraction part, you can say both whole and fraction, okay. Both whole and fraction means the both parts are coming in that fraction, then is known as mixed fraction. Okay, students, now recapitulate the term. I explain again. Fraction means the whole part, complete one, part of a whole. When we have a complete one and we have taken one part of that, that is known as fraction. The upside is known as numerator. The downside number is known as denominator. If the numerator is less than denominator, the first part is known as proper fraction. If the numerator is greater, then the fraction is known as improper. If denominators are same, then the fraction is known as like fraction. If the denominators are different, that are known as unlike fractions. If the numerator value is equal to 1, that is unit fraction. If we have both whole number also and the fraction part also, both the terms are there, then it is known as mixed fraction. I think students, you got it concept. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.